even among, perhaps even especially among believers, Newton was a, I think it's fair to say he was a Christian. He was certainly a deity. He was a Christian, of course. All the was. pioneers of, of mathematics were. were believers so New in God. And Newton understands himself to be exploring the mind of God. Yes, that's right. And at right. some basic level, Newton, faithful Christian, is saying, how did he do it? Yeah. How did he do this? How did he do that? He's not saying, well, it's the mind of God, therefore I, the, oh, no, no more questions to follow. He's Correct. in search of specific mechanisms, and that's a good and noble thing which endows us with nine-tenths of what we know about physics in some basic mm. way, right? So, so here's the question that pre presents itself to me, layman that I hear stand in for, for baffled people the world over. <laughs> science, the question in science, how does it happen? Charles Darwin says, here's how it happened. Okay, and if you guys want to say, well, Charles Darwin was wrong, then I say, okay, if it didn't happen that way, how did it happen? And it, the answer can't just be God, or it can't just be designer. There's some sort of human impulse in us to say, well, how, how, what's the mechanism? And that's a fair question, and B, he's taking a shot at it. And when, Stephen's trying to say no. When, no, I, I, well, I will come Go back ahead. at you in a Go minute. Ahead. I, yeah, when I, Newton I, discovered his law of gravitation, he didn't say, now I've got a scientific explanation. I don't need God. What he did was to write Principia Mathematica, the most famous book in the history of science, and expressed in it the hope that his research would lead thinking people to believe in God. In other words, he believed his science was showing evidence of an intelligent input into the universe. Beauty, now, design, predictability. Yes, but the, the important thing here is that a huge confusion comes up through Richard Dawkins suggesting that the God explanation is the same as the scientific explanation. That's like saying that the Henry Ford explanation for a motor car is the same as the explanation in terms of physics and automobile engineering. They're different kinds of explanation, and we need both to give a full explanation. And they're different kinds of questions, Peter. The, yes. the question of how the internal combustion engine operates can be answered using principles of mechanical and electrical engineering. But the question of the origin of the car can't be answered apart from invoking Henry the act Ford. activity of an intelligence. In the Principia, Newton developed he described the, the ongoing regular process of gravity, and he used a law, a mathematical law, to describe that process. But he also believed that the fine-tuning of the solar system gave direct evidence of the activity of a designing intelligence. He said this most beautiful system of sun, planet, and comets could only be the product of an intelligent and powerful being. So he actually made a direct design argument. When, when we're talking about the origin of life, or the origin of the universe, or the origin of the Cambrian animals, there's another way of framing the question. It is, what type of cause best explains the origin of these things? An undirected material process or an intelligent cause? And science... Yeah, but what do you, why do you object to, to Michael's attempt to find to a mechanism? Yes, yes. I was, Michael, oh, let, let me just... Yes, Michael. Let Michael come in. Yes, because absolutely. I, I feel as second. though I've set things up so that the two of you have been able to beat him about the head and shoulders. When, when Isaac Newton developed his wonderful law of gravity, uh, he was asked, what the heck is gravity? And he, and he said, hypothesis non fingo. Yes. I feign no hypothesis. He had, no, he had no mechanism. He didn't, he didn't have a mechanism. What's the mechanism for the Big Bang? Nobody oh, knows. No. What's the mechanism for radioactive decay? I don't know. Um, so there's lots of things that happen. People don't know what the mechanism is. But we see patterns and we uh, can deduce uh, explanations from the patterns. Okay. 